I mean, just mix it with coconut, uh, not the milk, the juice of the coconut, then with sugar, then you cover it with the plastic or any leaves, then cook it, and you have it with tea. Very nice. We cook it as our, something like potatoes. In the swami place, it's a bit sticky. If you plant it in the hilly place, it's a bit uh, dry. But we like it, the one we get from the swami place. Yeah. See, right in the beginning, God gave to Eve and Adam to look after the garden. Tara to the Fijian people is like a staple food. For those chiefly families, the dal to them is uh, the tar to them is uh, is the staple food that we is a chief's food. Climate change in Fiji is causing a large increase in the incidence and intensity of extreme rainfall. The ensuing flood waters are simply overwhelming the current drainage systems in Fiji's low-lying agricultural areas. And when the rivers and creeks are unable to drain excess water, crops are ruined. Healthy local foods become scarce the local economy is threatened, and the staple diet of the Fijian people is compromised. When the flood came, it damaged our crops, the cassava, it was really, uh, you know, uh, and I saw, you know, because it was, all the cassava were ready to be pulled, and then the water came over it, and uh, even the terrors too, it happened to the terror, and uh, people were running around asking for food, but, you know, there was nobody to supply it. Production of food is of course vital to all humans. But to the poorest Fijians, it also plays an important economic role. In terms of their subsistence crops, they have to grow this type of crop for their everyday needs. And also for commercial purposes so that they can pay out school fees for their children to go out and attend whatever school from primary to secondary right up to the university. And with 50% of local employment and 43% of export earnings coming from the agricultural sector, it's crucial that Fiji be able to produce enough food for both overseas and local markets. But sadly, under current climate pressures, this is not always possible. Most of the taro nowadays are going for export. We had three to four floods this year. That's why if you come around in the market now, you can find a lot of cassava and you can find a lot of dollars around. And the price too, from $10 a bundle now, going up to 20 to 25 even $30 a bundle. This is a, a, a real bad situation for these local communities. And uh, the impact of it from the social point of view, economic point of view, and also with the, uh, along these environmental problems is creating this effect on food, only food. This creek has not been cleared for quite a long time, maybe around 10 years. It's still blocked with weeds, and there's uh, no flow at all. The flow is very, very slow, very, very small. The water level is really too high. But on the, the other side of the creek, we have already excavated. So the flow now is really, the water we can say is really flowing well. These new drainage systems at Gataniki Creek are an initiative of Fiji's Department of Land and Water Resource Management and the Pacific Adaptation to Climate Change Project, a regional project working in 14 different countries throughout the Pacific. PAC Fiji is working with communities in Nasore and Navua 
to contribute to a sustainable maintenance of drainage infrastructures, a model that can be replicated in other parts of Fiji. If uh, dredging is not done, the uh, flow capacity is uh, not sufficient within the low tide cycle. So during the low tide cycle, all the excess water should be uh, flowing out uh, as quick as possible. If uh, not, uh, the flow rate is uh, less, and at the same time, another heavy rain come, all excess water coming from the nearby drainage schemes cannot flow easily. So that means there is a tendency is uh, uh, more flooding in the uh, what I call agricultural land area. Small drains on nearby farms have been cleared, and in the larger waterways, a 1.5 metre deep channel has been carefully plotted. When this is completed, dredging can begin. By dredging the Gataniki Creek, PAC Fiji is dealing with current challenges for a vulnerable area. The information gathered will also inform future drainage criteria for Fiji and how drainage is designed, implemented and monitored over time. The debris extracted by these diggers will be moved some distance from the riverbank to prevent it being washed back in during a subsequent heavy rainfall. The smooth flow of rivers and creeks allows excess rainwater an unrestricted path to the sea, keeping the water table low and protecting crops in the surrounding area from waterlogging. This runoff must pass through a floodgate. The key to its function is the direction that the gate opens. As excess water from a heavy rainfall builds up inside the gate, the difference in hydraulic pressure causes it to swing open, allowing flood water to drain to the sea. But as the high tide cycle ensues, the flow of water back through the gate causes it to shut, limiting the intrusion of salt water into the surrounding agricultural area. To complement this drainage work, the Department of Land and Water Resource Management is working with the Agriculture Research Station at Cotonivia to develop local crop varieties that are salt water tolerant and others that are resistant to the increasingly common waterlogging conditions. These crops are being tested at PAC pilot sites to determine which are best suited to the changing environmental conditions in Fiji. By cleaning up these creeks, it has already made an impact because for so long, this place was already been, the water was not moving, it was stagnant. Now the waters are moving again. Uh, it is an advantage to us farmers that we are able to use the land that was idle before because they were wet. Yeah. We are working in our own gardens to plant our own food because we believe that it's, uh, it's good for our health and uh, it's safe eating the food that we plant ourselves. With this, Good drainage system, the local impact will be felt at individual level by good healthy food on the table. So now I'm getting back to planting and I'm telling my daughters, uh, see, the, the money is here on the land. We have to go overseas and look for money. If we utilize this land, we can earn a lot for our living and uh, whatever we would want. So if, you, if you're standing on the land, you're standing on money. The benefits of food security and the resultant locally grown fresh produce range from healthy individuals, local farmers empowered by putting once idle land to use, to a healthy economy exporting the unique and nutritious foods of Fiji to the world. Results and lessons from Fiji will be shared regionally and globally as will the results from 13 other PAC projects throughout the Pacific. This information will help integrate long-term climate change risks into coastal management, food production, and water resource management. 
By identifying future risks and turning systemic problems into long-term solutions, PAC is helping people adapt to climate change.